Hi, I'm DIY Mike, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a mini plug to mini plug braided interconnect, most commonly used between an iPod and an auxiliary input, maybe an input into your car or a boombox or some kind of stereo. This video goes out to SoCal Lucky 13, who was kind enough to request the build. Hope this is what you're looking for, and thanks for watching. All right, let's go over a list of tools and materials. First, as far as tools go, we're going to need a pair of wire strippers, wire cutters. We're going to need a soldering iron today for this project. And I like to use a propane torch. We'll use this to, uh, to shrink our shrink tubing. You can use a, a heat gun, but a, a, a propane torch is just cheap. So a pair of scissors will be helpful in cutting some of the, the nylon that we're going to use to cover the uh, cable later. And as far as materials, I'm going to use a mini plug that's made by a company called Nutrick today. It's a gold-plated mini plug. Um, it's a stereo mini plug, of course. It's available on Parts Express, and this is just a really durable, this is a really good connector. As far as wire goes, I'm going to use a small gauge wire. I recommend that you stick to something around a 24 or 28 gauge wire. I'm going to use a 24 today for our braid. This is a solid core copper. Just want to make sure you use a, a solid wire. You don't want to use a multi-strand wire for this project. All right, so I've already cut my wires. I've got four individual wires. They're approximately one meter in length. Make yours to whatever length you, you think you're going to need. I'm using regular white hookup wire and a 24 gauge. You might want to start with, uh, if you've never braided audio cables before, you might want to start with four different colors. It'll make it a lot easier to get the hang of a, a Litz flat braid, which is what we're going to use today. There's plenty of resources online that you can go look up to, to see what the pattern of the Litz braid is. But that's the, the pattern I'm going to use today. All right, so I've placed each of my wires into a small vise here just so I can hold them in place as I start the braiding process. Um, I've already marked both ends because I am using white wire just so I know exactly what, uh, what wires they are at the other end. Once we get uh, going, it's going to be hard to, to follow them through. So um, as I said, go online, learn the pattern. Um, I've done it many times, so it's pretty straightforward for me. And I'm very, uh, very familiar with the process of braiding the wire. So go online, take a look, see what you think. It's not that difficult once you get started. You'll be doing it in no time. Okay, so when you get done, your cable should look something like this. This is the opposite end. I just twisted it off when I got there just so I can kind of keep the braid together and we're going to move on to soldering the connections at this point. Alright, so as you can see I've placed our connector in the uh, in the vise. Just to hold on to it, I wrapped it with a little tape just to protect it, but it's in the vise, it'll hold it there, it'll make it a little easier to solder. I've taken our two positive leads and I've wrapped them around the post. There's little holes in the post so it makes it easier to hold the wire in place. I just use a little pair of needle nose just to pinch it down on there just so it'll stay in place while I'm soldering it. Our two negative leads, I'll do those last, they're a little easier to solder, so I'll save those for last. And I'm going to go ahead and solder these posts. Use plenty of heat, and as I'm using kind of a large soldering iron for this, but, uh, but I prefer to have the heat, and you may want to use a smaller one if you're just starting out. Make sure you get a good contact, plenty of flow, and those are looking great. Okay, so there's our soldered connector. And as you can see, I've already placed the barrel for the connector on the wire. Make sure you do that before you solder it on there because you, you're not going to be able to get it on there later. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to bend over the strain relief tabs. We're going to take the uh, pair of needles used, and we'll just bend these over. And don't pinch too tightly because you don't want to go through the insulation of the conductors themselves. Okay, so there you have the finished connector. I've tightened up the barrel and we're, uh, we're all ready to go. You just want to repeat this on the other end and we're almost there. Okay, if all's gone well, you should have something that looks like this. We've got our braided cable and we've got our two connectors on there. Everything's tightened down, ready to go. Now if you use some really cool looking wire, you might just want to leave it like this. If you've braided it tight enough, you may want to leave it like this. I plan on sheathing it with some nylon, so 
Um, on to the next step. All right, I'm going to use a metallic nylon braided sheathing. It actually cuts down on interference and it looks really cool when we're done. You can get this on Parts Express also. I'm just going to slip this over the connector and we'll just feed our way all the way down to the other end. All right, so I've placed a small piece of black shrink tube over the connector and, and just over the braided sheathing so that we can just kind of neaten this up. I'm just going to apply the heat very gently and just work your way around until it starts to shrink down onto the, uh, onto the cable. Well, there you have it. We've got a great looking cable. And now for the best part, I'm going to go plug it into my car, hook up my iPod, see how it sounds. It looks great. This, uh, this braided nylon, this metallic braided nylon, really looks good and gives it a finished look. So, uh, hope this helps. Enjoy. And uh, thanks again to SoCal Lucky 13 for the request. And don't forget to check out my website, it's DIYMike.com, and click on the audio links page. I'll be posting other, uh, other projects on there as well. So, thanks again. Enjoy. All right, now for the best part. As you can see, we've got our cable hooked up here in the car. My auxiliary happens to be in the center armrest, so I've got that hooked up. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a play. Thank you.